Uganda's housing situation is characterized by inadequate homes in terms of quality and quantity in both rural and urban areas. Even though housing is a basic human right essential for the well-being of all mankind, over two-thirds of Ugandans live in substandard housing. <laughs> The lack of affordable quality housing compromises people's health and development opportunities, which perpetuates the poverty cycle in Uganda. In 2021, the annual need for new housing for the entire country was estimated at 200,000 housing units, of which 135,000 are in rural and 65,000 in urban areas. So, etogolo nesobu habitant permanent house nesikwanaja yongo. Since its inception in 1982, Habitat for Humanity Uganda, in partnership with the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development and various stakeholders, has been dedicated to eliminating poor housing, working in line with the Sustainable Development Goal 2, SDG 2, which recognizes the need to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Habitat for Humanity is a global housing ministry and uh, we are so very excited and looking forward to commemorating our 40th anniversary having uh, transformed uh, lives of over 240,000. But what we are happy is to have changed the lives of 40,000 families with new homes, with new improved living standards in the country. We are focusing to strengthen affordability, to strengthen habitability, provision of basic services, uh, dealing with issues around tenure security, especially for the very uh, deprived and less privileged families. And also we focus on cross-cutting themes that include gender and, and youth. With these programs, Habitat for Humanity reaches out to vulnerable families with the aim of helping them realize their full potential. Habitat for Humanity has had a framework of providing homes to areas where the poverty is hardest hit. The most trodden in our community, we say these people need support. And Habitat for Humanity was responsive, so our task was to identify such people through our structures of the local leaders. Dino liye diro, di bampa. E tino che chi senge, era muensula. Hama mune diro li ako li dino, ne chi senge chi rara chi chi no. Banange ne yanzi zanyo. We believe that any person to realize their full potential in life, it's important and it's also a right for them to live in a decent house. But we realized that, especially with the increasing number of youth, that they are skilled. So this component was added to the housing aspect. A family which is identified to get an affordable house. We also identify people within that family who can be trained. And we've trained people in mechanics, we've trained them in the tailoring. So it depends on someone's interest. Kaulani training, ponena keneng sopulan, nasigiri, asani, ikopon, borokere, mesan kilichulong. We still need habitat for research and development. Along the way, we saw that the home improvement loan was not properly addressing still the needs of our clients. Once we see that there was still a mismatch on the target market, that's when Habitat for Humanity approached us in around 2013 to develop the center home loan product, which is an incremental construction. We have developed a new strategic plan with long-term aspirations. We are calling it Impact 2027. And so we want to work with different actors 
government, the civil society to ensure that we systematically address the issues of affordability from a housing ecosystem perspective. As Habitat for Humanity Uganda marks its 40th anniversary in Uganda, it would like to build 40 homes for the vulnerable. You can contribute by go to MTN Momo Pay, enter merchant code HFHU and follow the prompts or make a bank payment with account numbers displayed on the screen. Habitat for Humanity Uganda, building strength, stability and self-reliance through shelter in Uganda.